in shape with Christine's Fitness. But first, our reporter Michelle Rivard had the chance to catch up with Mark Zielinski at a local chapters in Scarborough where he was donating books for charities for children worldwide. Take a look. Hi, it's Michelle Rivard for Daytime Toronto. I'm here at the Chapters Indigo at Kennedy Commons with author Mark Zielinski. Mark has recently donated over thousands of books to local charities. How are you today, Mark? I'm great, thanks very much. Thank you for chatting with us today. My pleasure. Can I ask you, how did you come up with the idea to donate these books? Well, over the last 35 years, I've traveled around the world to about 75 countries. And so I've seen the best and the worst of humanity, I would say. I've seen uh, the worst is poverty, exploitation, especially of women and children, which is so much of. Um, so I decided to print 7,000 books to donate to charities that uh, are distributing these books to children around the world and women. Um, and the best that I've seen in the world is actually the charities themselves that are doing great work, uh, compassionate work around the world. So. Uh, it's exciting for me to donate these books to charities and give them another tool that they can use. So how are the books used by the charities? Well, in so many different ways. Uh, there's a couple of the books that don't have words in them at all. So they're not limited by language. So they can be used in, in countries all over the world. They're not, uh, they're not limited to English-speaking mm -hmm. audience. But uh, here in Canada, they're being used for literacy. Uh, kids are writing their own stories to these books. I'll show you one of them, sure. actually, if you don't mind. This yeah. is a, a book that I call Untitled, because it has no words in it at all. Not, not a title, not a word on the cover. And it's photos of people from 75 different countries around the world over 35 years. So we go through uh, every country, country in the world, almost, um, ranging from you know, through Asia, Africa. Uh, these are, are great experiences. There's so many stories behind the photos. But I decided not to, to put those stories in because most of the people I couldn't speak to. So the, uh, there was a language barrier uh, in taking most of these photos, but there was a great communication also through the, uh, eye contact, through body language, and I would say through the level of the soul. So you've taken all of these photos. All these photos are yourself. mine. Yeah. And how many countries do you think you've been to? Uh, about 75. Wow. Yeah, that's over a long time. Though. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think it is about that human connection? You say exactly there. You don't have a language to connect to, but still, you can look at a photo and and feel a connection to someone. Well, I I think a lot of these photos were taken in rural areas. They were taken not not in cities. So I was in areas where there was a lot of poverty. You know, people were are not not wealthy uh, in a lot of the places that I went to, and I think that they have a better understanding of the human condition than people who live in cities, uh, and they were more willing to to communicate, and they were very generous. Uh, with me, giving me their, their likeness in these mm -hmm. photographs. So how do you decide um, which charities to partner up with? Well, it, any charities that, that benefit children are, are eligible for these books. So mm -hmm. uh, if anyone's listening out there that, that has an idea or to connect me with a charity, please, please do. Uh, they can connect through my website, markzelinski.com. Uh, so far, there's about 60 charities. A lot of them are Canadian charities, mm -hmm. and a lot of them are international charities, uh, like the Red Cross, uh, UNICEF, Free the Children, big charities like that. Uh, Plan Canada as well distributes the books around the world. Uh, some of the charities use them for fundraising also. But there's a lot of local organizations that, uh, that make great use of the books. So I'm really, really happy to see that they're being used uh, in Canada by so many different uh, charities. And what is um, some of the local charities that we're partnering with today? Well, today we have, uh, we have three charities. We have the Herbert H. Carnegie uh, Future Aces Foundation, mm -hmm. which I'm, I'm really thrilled to be part of. Uh, there's also uh, the Niali Project, which is a woman in Scarborough here is the Canadian arm of Ugandan uh, charity that's uh, working with Ugandan children. There's also the Pelletier Teenage Mothers Foundation, and that's a Ugandan woman living in Canada helping uh, teenage mothers who've uh, been exploited in Uganda. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, some representatives from the Herbert H. Carnegie Foundation here today. So this is Bernice Carnegie. Hi, Bernice. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us today. And can you tell me, what is the uh, Herbert H. Carnegie Future Aces program? 
Uh, the Herbert H. Carnegie Future Aces initiatives are, are about young people. It's changing their lives, trying to help them to empower themselves to be the best that they can be. So future, always striving, aces to be the best that we all can be. And we work with over 100,000 young people in the GTA who also get to other uh, help other parts of the world. Um, our goal is if you can help yourself, then you can extend yourself a little farther out into your own community and ultimately the world. And one of the um, schools that you're working with here in Scarborough is the Thompson Ooh, School? Yeah. Yes, David and Mary Thompson. Uh, they're one of the over 200 schools that we, uh, we actually engage with. So how do the schools benefit from um, donations like Mark's books? Oh, well, we have so many, we're always going into schools. I speak to thousands and thousands of students every year, and we like to leave them something. They like to be part of our, um, our initiatives with our leadership conferences, our symposiums. Uh, we have a scholarship initiative. We've given out a half a million dollars in scholarships wow. to young people who are out there making a difference, just like Mark is making a difference. And so, you know what, I'm overwhelmed yeah. to think that he wants to help us yeah. because every little pebble makes a difference when you're helping a young person feel good about who they are and knowing that they can do something that they you know everybody can do one more thing that's going to make a difference and where do you receive the majority of your funding from from the community yeah. um, we have a lot of people that really believe in what we're doing of course we we beg for money here there and everywhere that's our that's what we do and we're having a gala on May the 23rd and this helps us with our initiatives we have a golf tournament on July the 16th and that also helps us raise funds for for our initiatives very cool so um, Rebecca you're a student at yeah. Thompson and what what's the future ACES program done for you um, well, it's really done a lot. Well, I've been to many conferences and um, been in meetings and I've been in MC yesterday for oh, cool. one of the, um, the school assemblies yeah. that came yesterday. So it's, it's been good. Yeah, and so what kind, of, what kind of skills are they trying to teach you? They're trying to teach us how to like Courage, confidence, uh, your self-concept, everything. So, I can see that starting to come through in you. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for taking the time to chat with us today. Um, all the best with your future okay. ACES program. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. And now we rejoin the studio.